Walmart provides various shipping setup options. However, if you're not using a supported carrier or offering free shipping, you'll need to use shipping templates. In this lesson, we'll guide you through the process of creating these templates in Seller Center and show you how to assign SKUs to them. Let's dive in. Shipping templates allow you to customize your shipping settings so that you can provide faster shipping speeds and more accurate delivery promises to customers. These templates are a good option if you have big and bulky items or you don't use one of Walmart's supported shipping carriers. To get started with shipping templates in Seller Center, select the gear icon in the top navigation to go to your account settings page. On the account settings page, select shipping templates under the shipping profile heading. From here, select the create shipping template option and choose manual shipping settings. There are several types of shipping templates you can choose from. The first option is our default template, which will be automatically applied to your entire catalog if you don't assign any other templates to your SKUs. Next is our custom shipping template, which is fully customizable. You can create up to 60 different custom templates for seller-fulfilled items and an additional 30 for items fulfilled by a third-party provider. There's also paid standard shipping templates, which should only be used for items that don't usually qualify for free standard shipping or if you want to disable value shipping, which is the default shipping method. And finally, we have freight shipping templates, which are best used for your large and bulky items. If you want to use the paid standard or freight shipping template, you should choose Setup Special Template on the Shipping Templates page and follow the setup prompts. If you want to use the default or custom shipping templates, here's how to set them up. On the Shipping Templates page, you'll see that the default template is automatically assigned to your entire catalog. This template cannot be deleted. If you'd like to change the default settings, select Edit Template. If you want to create a custom template, select Create Shipping Template and then Manual Shipping Settings. For both the default and custom shipping templates, if you charge for shipping, you'll need to choose your shipping rate model, which is used to calculate your total order using weight or price and your shipping method. There are several shipping methods you can choose from. As we mentioned earlier, value shipping is the default shipping method and will be applied to your entire catalog unless you create a different shipping template. If you choose standard shipping, you can either charge a shipping fee or offer free shipping. But if you do decide to charge a shipping fee, that item won't be eligible for certain benefits like a boost in search results or the buy box. Finally, we have one day and two day shipping which are available to eligible Walmart Marketplace sellers who've met our performance criteria. Check out our lesson resources to learn more about Walmart's expedited delivery programs. For each shipping method, you can create new shipping rules and customize your settings by delivery region. If you need to apply different transit times for specific regions, just choose Add Shipping Rule. You can use these rules to drill down to specific regions or cities in a state by selecting the arrow next to it. You'll also need to specify your rates for each shipping rule by weight or order value. When you're all finished, save your template. Assigning SKUs to your shipping templates is important because, if the SKUs aren't added, the items will be automatically assigned to the default shipping template. But before you do this, we recommend that you have your fulfillment center already set up and inventory added. Once you do that, you can navigate to your catalog and select Update Items. Then click Update with File, then choose SKUs to Shipping Template Update to download the spec. Once you open the spec, you'll need to fill out the SKU ID, Fulfillment Center ID, Shipping Template ID, and Action Type columns before you can upload it. How can I locate my Fulfillment Center ID? Your Fulfillment Center ID can be found in the FC ID column of your Fulfillment Center Summary on the Seller Fulfillment page in Seller Center. Once you've saved your spec, Drag and drop your file and click Submit. And that's it. You've now learned how to create your shipping templates manually and assign SKUs to those templates. We have more videos like this one that can help you manage your shipping and fulfillment needs. Don't forget to check out our other Seller Academy tutorials to keep learning.